My name is Mike Coe from North Point Yacht Sales, and today I'm going to take you on board the all-new Hansa 460. The first look at the boat shows a couple of things that Hansa is doing for the first time in a 46-foot boat. For the first time, they've added this hardtop with removable sunroof, as well as bumped the beam out pretty significantly to allow us to have this very luxurious large cockpit. Two electrically operated tables go down to become lounge beds to give you an absolutely massive lounge area. Storage can be found in either cockpit bench, either port or starboard. At the helm stations, we see a lot of that big boat technology coming down to the 46-foot market. We have these twin glass top pods, which make for a very sexy and refined look. Um, on the pods themselves, we have twin chart plotters, we've got a bow thruster control, and then we have some switches that really give you some added luxury items, from electrically actuated up and down tables, to remote control winches at the two sheet stations, to over here, we even have a cordless cell phone charging station. For on-deck meals, there's a gas-operated grill with hot and cold sink. The feature that Hansa has become known for is leading all the lines aft to each helm station. Each one leads to a winch, easily handled at each helm station, and the line runs into this line locker aft. On deck, the features are as sleek as with any other Hansa. You have flush hatches offering lots of natural light into the cockpit, as well as no trip hazards when you're on deck. Uh, the self-tacking jib is pretty standard for almost every Hansa yacht. And the 460 has twin four stays to allow for a little bit more performance when sailing. The Hansa 460, specifically because we've integrated the hardtop, requires a roller furling mainsail when in this configuration. Up forward, you see we have an electric windlass featuring an all chain road, which runs pretty cleverly to the side of these four stays through this integrated bow roller uh, on the bow sprit here. The remote for that is inside this absolutely massive storage locker, which is a great place to throw your fenders or extra sails or even a collapsible dinghy. Down below on the Hansa 460, we start to see some of the luxurious features that really make this boat stand apart. We have leather wrapped handrails, we have luxurious underlighting, and lots of natural light throughout the boat. A lot of ways to configure the galley on the Hansa 460. On this boat, we see we've got the twin fridges here, wine cooler here, freezer here. This central freezer can be any number of things from a dishwasher to a freezer to a refrigerator, or really any other large appliance that you desire. Out here on the starboard side, we have controls for the onboard stereo system, the VHF, and inside this locker, we have the main DC panel and AC panel with generator controls. Right where I am is where the optional navigation station would go in. Next we have the fully functional galley with a double basin sink, three burner stove, and plenty of storage just behind the stove. Here we have the fridge that you'll probably end up using the most. It's top opening if you want to get it a couple drinks while you're underway, and front opening for larger food items. Moving on to the main salon, you see we have this absolutely huge dinette, which has enough space for six to eight people. In addition, we have the multifunction backrests, which reveal a hideaway bar area. Plenty of storage behind the salon seating. Those are just across from the electrically raising TV, which comes out of this seat back. On this boat, we have the 57 horsepower Yanmar turbo diesel. However, there's an option for an 80 horsepower as well. When you are in the owner stateroom up forward, you immediately notice how quiet it is in here. Hansa has gone above and beyond to soundproof this room and to separate the living quarters from the mechanical equipment aft. 
This entire time we've had the gen set running as well as the air conditioning and you would sleep up here without even knowing it. So here you see we have an island bed with plenty of room to get on either side. Um, reading lights at the head of the bed, dual outlets port and starboard, as well as plenty of storage down both sides of the boat. Uh, we have a large hanging locker on the port side aft as well as a large hanging locker on the starboard side aft. However, we do have an option to turn that starboard side hanging locker into a love seat lounger type seating. En suite with the Ford cabin, we have a complete head with bifold shower door and electric toilet system. In the owner's cabin, you see there's lots of natural light from the port and starboard windows to the overhead opening hatches, which provide both natural light and ventilation. Integral into those opening hatches are blackout curtains as well as bug screens. The aft cabins are almost equally luxurious, featuring plenty of room for two guests, plenty of storage for clothes, plenty of natural light, as well as an ensuite entrance to the main salon head. 460, of course, has multi-zone air conditioning, with the aft cabin having its own control, main salon having its control, and the owner's stateroom up forward having its own control head up there. Thank you so much for coming with me on this tour of the Hansa 460 today. As you can see, there's a lot to love about this brand new model from Hansa Yachts. For more content like this, subscribe to the North Point Yacht Sales YouTube channel. And to make your appointment to come aboard the boat, give us a call today.